I've successfully unboxed iPhone 4, or is it the iPhone 4, here at live.perillo.com just a few minutes ago in front of about a thousand people. So now we're going to go ahead and connect it and sync it for the first time. There's really not anything exciting to look at on the screen. And I've also got to name this. So what should I name the iPhone 4, my fourth generation iPhone to be specific? What should I name it? Now you know I, I named my uh, iPad Pythagoras and uh, the one other iPad was Praetorian, so I'd like to stick with P. Poseidon, let me see here. Now I'm not, I'm not gonna name it after you, not the, Placenta? Actually, you know what? I think we're now, from this point forward, we're gonna call um, every cable that it that that uh, is attached to a computer the placentas. You take your uh, Apple placenta, <laughs> you plug it into the uh, iPhone as such. Oh, there we go. I was looking for the symbol, but apparently I missed it. Okay, get it in there, nice and tight. And then the pl other end of the placenta <laughs> goes into a USB port. Got the uh, what name? Persephone. I think I like that one. Persephone. It is. Persephone. Cause see, that's it looks like Persephone, but it's actually you you, you pronounce it Persephone. So it looks like Persephone. It's kind of funny. Maybe geeks will get that. She is the queen of the underworld, if I'm not mistaken. So we've got her plugged in. The all too familiar Apple logo. Uh, I better take off the protectors here. I've got one on the front and one on the back. Actually, I don't know if I even need to take off the one on the back yet. Whew, peeled right off. and I'm letting it scan my retina. You can see it's a retina display. And... Okay, so... Ooh, it blinked. I need to get some screen protectors for this thing, too. Connect. Whoa, holy cow, they're not kidding. Whoa, you guys have to see this. And, and unfortunately, the video will not translate. But wow, they're, they're not kidding. The text is sharp, even on the, the, the start screen, the boot screen. When it pulled up and said to connect it to iTunes, the text is sharp. You guys have to see this. Of course, I'm saying this even though you are seeing it. I'm saying up close and in person because you will not believe it. Uh, I've got to enter in my account information for AT&T. It's going to connect up to the internet. Please wait while we process your request. I now have to read and agree to the iPhone terms and conditions. Man, that's long. Oh, and they even use caps. That must be the important part. Yep, yep, there's the, there's the part where it says you got to give away your firstborn. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead, tap continue. Oh, now I've got to accept AT&T's service agreement. Uh, AT&T claims that it will allow you to drop no less than three calls a day. Wow. that's They're now guaranteeing at least uh, three drop calls a day. That's new to the, uh, the service agreement. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and agree to that. Uh, I like having a guarantee, quite honestly, of how many drop calls I'm going to get. Uh, oh, there's a printable version as well. I'm not going to worry about that. Please wait while we process your request. This may take up to three minutes. <sighs> Come on. I would have expected a three-minute wait for the 3G or the 3GS, but this is a four. It should take up to four minutes. Yeah, Got to get in sync. Need to get your uh, geeks lined up with your marketing team there, AT and T and Apple and whoever else is involved here with the iPhone activation. Still waiting. I don't have any indication that uh, it's uh, doing anything really. No uh, spinning cursor. No spinning beach ball of death. No bar. I see that it shows up in the sidebar as a device, the iPhone, which I have not yet named. And uh, it will be Persephone. Persephone. Yes, activation is kind of boring, to tell you the truth. Uh, so I'll answer a few questions while I'm, uh, you know, activating here. Get Zag for your iPhone. Uh, someone at Zag actually reached out to me recently. I may ask them for some uh, iPhone accessories and do some reviews. Of course, I'd review just about any iPhone, iPad, iPod accessory out there. Oh, here we go. 
waiting for activation. <laughs> it says, this may take some time. The transfer of your existing phone number is in progress to set up and sync this iPhone. Please disconnect and reconnect to your computer. Oh, iPhone is activated. That was quick. Wow, <laughs> dude. Okay, the screen is sharp. The, or the text, seriously. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Sorry, I can't stop looking at it. Okay. Uh, so now we are going to disconnect here. Boy, it's nice and tight. And as it suggests, reconnect. Now, what's interesting here... Oh, I got an iPhone software license agreement. This is three freaking agreements that I have to agree to in order to even, uh, you know, start using the stupid thing. St smart thing. Smart. Smart. Sorry, Mr. Jobs. I didn't... I didn't mean the iPhone's stupid. I... The iPhone is not stupid! <clears throat> Do I want to set this up as a new iPhone or restore from the backup of the other device? Um, I think I'm going to restore from the backup, and here's the reason why. Because I've got folders set up on here, and I think in order to keep those folders, I have to restore from backup because you know having that iOS uh, installed like a few days before I started organizing it uh, you restore from a backup no issues thank you a geek mom someone who's very uh, uh, active on lockernome.net feared bliss you're good we're good so I'm gonna go ahead and restore from backup of course I want to name it something else though I don't really want to name it it was it was this is the old device I've got a new device that I'm now restoring as it's tethered to the oh okay can I name it though or can I rename it somehow where do I where do I actually rename it or I, I don't think I can I even rename it maybe if I go to the info tab it's installing new apps already wow I, I, you can rename it later good okay cool oh I just go to the sidebar I see Yeah, I'll figure it out. You know, it's it's just going to be restoring from a backup. And considering I have over 500 iPhone apps, it's going to take a while. Oh, there was a problem during restore. Please restart your iPhone and try restoring again. Okay, apparently I, I need to do that. <clears throat> Wait a minute. So I, I pressed restart there so it's restarting it now it's copying files or updating files from the internet somewhere all right to be continued attempting to copy device is not connected yet because it's, it's restarting itself here it said it. i'm just doing what it's saying to do my god nothing to lose it's a new phone i can always go from scratch and start over again it's a good experience for the most part Guess that's it for now. We've connected it and are now setting it up. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Got any other tips here? Oh, it's already okay, it's going again. Uh oh, you can help Apple improve its products by sending information. Yeah. You should know about the crash, Apple. <clears throat> it's going to restore for a while. Geeks.perillo.com, Chris.perillo.com, Twitter.com slash Chris Perillo, Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo, YouTube.com slash Chris Perillo, and you know where to find me in the chat room, usually. And if if I'm not here, then I've got a community of geeks who are typically talking tech 24 hours a day. Whoa, that's updating files fast now. Speed demon. It's updating, it really is. So uh, you'll have to catch us in our next video where we give some first impressions of iPhone 4, or the iPhone 4. Uh, and uh, you stay tuned for that. And hopefully you're watching as it's happening right now. And the only place to do that really is, well, you can do it at pocket.perillo.com on your iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone, or, you know, in a web browser. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.